Okay, I think I already did a video. No, I've done two videos. One was for Odyssey and one was for YouTube. I had to redo it for Odyssey. But anyway, I did a video talking about a video game called Wanted Weapons of Fate. And it feels only natural that I do a video talking about the um, the movie, which is based on a comic that I... Well, I guess it's a good adaptation of the comic. I've barely, I've barely seen anything from the comic, so I can't comment on that front. But I like this movie. It is. I remember seeing this in high school. It was in. This came out in two thousand eight. I was in middle school or my freshman year when this came out, and I saw it like a year or two, maybe a year or two later. Like I found out about it because of the game. Well, I've, I'd seen the commercials for it, but never saw it. Then I got the game, which came out in I want to say twenty ten. I can't remember. But, um, I might just do a review talking about the plot of this, but, anyway, anyway, um, essentially, you start out with this guy called Mr. X who's assassinated. He takes out assassins who he, who are after him, and then all of a sudden a bullet, and he realizes he's staying on an X. And he's like, ah, oh, shit. And then a bullet goes through his head. And you, then it shows us who he, and then we learn he was killed by Cross. And basically what you need to understand about this is, and this is just like the setup of the plot, um, there's this a fraternity of assassins. I believe the game established that there's fraternities of assassins in all countries. These two, at one bo point, both worked for the American fraternity of assassins based in Chicago, which I find kind of funny because it's Chicago. The bastion of, gun contr of blaster control. But anyway... And then Cross left for reasons I will get into later. Uh, spoiler alert for those of you who care about that sort of stuff. Actually, maybe I... You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, and after this, Wesley Gibson, who is this loser guy, and I don't mean this like as an insult to him, like he is, as the movie suggests, a loser. His life is kind of a downer. He has a girlfriend who's cheating on him with his best friend. He works a job he hates. He has a boss that is... God, I am so glad they give you the ability to unalive her in the game. And uh, the ex-girlfriend, but anyway. Oh, yeah, she becomes an ex-girlfriend there. Anyway, um... One day he's approached by a woman named, I believe her name was Fox, played by Angelina Jolie. And the, I can't remember if I said the guy's name already, but you follow the, what's happening to Wesley Gibson, the, the supposed son of Mr. X, who was killed in the opening. Who, and he's played by, I forget the guy's name actually, it's James something. But anyway, um, he... He's approached by Fox, and someone tries to kill him, or he thinks they're trying to kill him, and he ends up, they end up doing a test to prove that, what he can do by giving him a gun, which belonged to Mr. X, and said, your father could conduct the symphony orchestra with this, and they tell him to shoot the wings off a fly, and at first he's like, you're crazy. Then Warman puts a gun to his head, and says, either you shoot or I do, and he shoots, the, like, he, he didn't even know he could do this, and... He shoots the wings off the fly, and he realizes... And the thing about Wesley is, up to this point, he had what he thought was anxiety attacks that he was taking medication for. Well, it turns out that wasn't actually what was happening. He was... This is... A, and one of the things about the assassins is they all have these abilities. One is an adrenaline rush. One is they can curve bullets, which should be physically impossible. And they do lots of stuff that should be physically impossible, but... These main two are the ones that come to mind, usually. And they are fucking good. Like, time almost seems to slow down for them. And they are all badass. Like, I would not want to piss them off. Anyway, um, Wesley begins working for them. After, he eventually comes around to where he's like, okay, you know what, I am going to... Because he snaps, quits his job, knocks out his best friend's teeth, because, again, girlfriend was cheating on him with him. Uh, I think left his girlfriend and goes back and ends up working for the Chicago fraternity. And well, how do I put this? 
uh, they begin to train him to be an assassin. And the train is brutal. Like, one guy just punches him repeatedly. Like he's tied to a chair and gets punched repeatedly. He's taught how to curve bullets, do all, do all the normal stuff the assassins can do. And then they go after Cross. And it's after um, a friend of his in the fraternity, the exterminator, gets killed. That Wesley is motivated enough to, like... Because he feels responsible for the guy getting killed. And they track him down to a place in... I want to say France. I can't remember. Like, it's been years since I've seen the movie. But I do recommend... I am recommending because it is a good movie. Um, and he ends up chasing Cross. And he learns the mother of all bombshells that, he's pro- that he probably never would have expected. Mr. X wasn't his father. Cross was, and everything the fraternity told him was a lie. And then Fox, who was given orders by the leader Sloan to kill him, takes aim at him. Well, unfortunately, they're both standing on broken glass or the window to a train that had kind of gone off the rails and was hanging over a river. He shot the window, and he, both him and his father's corpse fell into the river below, and somehow he survived and woke up back in Chicago. And the reason for this is before he confronted Cross, he got information about where to find him from the munition guy who was giving him ammo. That same guy was the one who brought him to Chicago as a favor to Cross and said, basically, your father didn't want any of this for you. He wanted you to have a normal life. What? He tried to kill me. No, 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 no. Fox... He was trying to get you away from Fox and Sloan. And then he goes on this mission to basically avenge Cross and kill the... And he was only going to kill Sloan because the thing you learn is Sloan wasn't actually killing people that... And one thing I forgot to mention was the assassin's targets are picked by the loom of fate. But Sloan has been lying to the other assassins and saying... Because it turns out the loom said... Sloan, played by Morgan Freeman, should die. It's a shame we had to kill Morgan Freeman in this movie, but oh well. Um, and when Wesley re- learns all this, he goes on a one man crusade. Like he gets a bunch of rats, ties bombs to them because his friend, the exterminator, taught him how to do this before he died. And he launches them all into the uh, frater- the Chicago Fraternity Headquarters, which is, I believe, a textile weaving factory. And they all go, kaboom! <laughs> and he charges in there with nothing but two pistols in his hand. And he starts shooting left, right, and center. He doesn't give a fuck. He's just shooting everyone who gets in his way. Even the guy who was who beat him. Like, he shot him in the, in the eye and then stuffed the gun through the hole in the guy's head and kept shooting it. It was awesome. It was unfucking believable. I loved every second of it. And then he confronts Sloan and he tells the other assassins, "Look, I don't want him dead. The Luma Fate wants him. Fate did, but he got pissed. So what does he do? He sends a man's own son to kill him. And Sloan basically convinces the other, all the assassins, and supposedly Fox, that they were all should just kill West because all their names came up." from the Loom of Fate, but he spared all of them. And it seems like Wesley's days are numbered, like he's about to be sent to that gun range in the sky, or, hell, hard to say which, when Fox suddenly shoots her a gun, but she curves the bullet where it kills everyone in the room, including her, but Sloan gets away. And after this, Sloan thinks he's found Wesley and that he's gone back to working in a cubicle. And he points a gun to us. But then the guy turns around and it's not Wesley. It's a, it's a fucking dummy. And then Morgan Freeman looks down at the X he's down. And he's like, oh, fuck. And then, bam, bullet tears through his forehead. And it ends with probably the best motivational thing I've ever heard. Just before he fir- it, like rewinds and shows you him lining up the shot. And it shows him shooting from a, a, a different part of Chicago. Like, it's a really long shot. It should not be possible. And he looks at the camera just before firing the shot and goes, what the fuck have you done lately? That is the best motivation I've ever heard. Like, if you need motivation for to get shit done, that's it for me. 
And I didn't realize this till yesterday or the day before that. But yeah, that's actually pretty motivating. Like, do what are you doing with your life? Get up, do some shit. And that's more or less the plot. Um, the action is really good. The I really like the characters in this movie. I don't know why. Like, it's no Citizen Kane or Die Hard. And that's kind of one of the things I like about it. It's pretty simple. Well, I say simple. There's probably some elements of it that's not simplistic, but I find it okay. And, yeah, really good movie. It's one I would I always would recommend to someone. I'm surprised I didn't really make a video on it till now. But it is an awesome movie. I... I, I love the game the most because of all the games I've played in my life, the wanted video game that is basically like a sequel to this game because it or a sequel to the movie because it takes place a couple hours after he killed Sloan. Like that is a game I come back to like every couple of years or a year or so. And well I can't now because I'm on the PlayStation, but anyway, anyway, um the movie is also something I want to go back to because I want to see it again. It's probably the only movie I've seen with Angelina Jolie in it. Although I haven't seen the Lara Croft movie. I'm going to see the first one at least. And... Yeah, good movie. It's a kick-ass movie, I would argue. Like, you've got a guy who goes from being what some would consider a loser in life to a badass assassin. And he's kind of his own man now by the end of it. And he's taking control of his life, essentially. And that's kind of... And he kind of says this in a monologue as it's rewinding the shot to where it shows Wesley about to kill Sloan. And again, he says that line, what the fuck have you done lately? Which, again, I consider very motivational. And I think I've dragged this out longer than I should, but yeah, good movie. James, I forget that fucker's name. And that's killing me because he's a fantastic actor. Like, I loved him in this movie. He was one of my favorite char- actors in it. Him and Angelina Jolie and Morgan Freeman were my favorite characters. That and The Exterminator. I liked him also. Oh, wait, no, not The Exterminator. I think he was called The Russian. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, just awesome movie. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. Um, the acting, again, is good. I think it's good. Your Your mileage will vary on this more than likely. But yeah, that's the movie. If you, that's more or less my me recommending it. I could not recommend it any better if I tried. And hopefully, I'll be able to upload this one today, or sometime after I've finished recording. Anyway, that's the um, that's the video. Have a nice day. Remember, the game was rigged from the start. And I have to sincerely ask, what the fuck have you done lately?